Okay, we're in exercise set 14. And we're gonna do this by, um, certainly by inspection and also by uh, what they're suggesting to do, which is to um, find two numbers whose sum is 18 and product is 56. This is what's known as an AC rule. Um, at least the popular culture calls it an AC rule. Uh, it's just a pattern. So I'm, I'm gonna, if I looked at 56 and I said to you, you know, what two numbers multiply to 56? You probably would say one times 56. I mean, that's certainly a possibility. What's another possibility? Well, maybe you do two times, let's see, 25, 28. I think you get the idea. And you could do this all day, no, I can't say all day long. If you use an integer, you couldn't do it all day long. There's only a few more choices over here. But you know, I'm looking at it, and I'm gonna say four, that's another possibility, and 14. You get the idea, right? And I'm looking at 4 and 14. I'm starting to think to myself, 4 and 14 do add up to 18. So what they do is they actually rewrite the problem so it's a factoring by grouping. Let me write this down for you. x squared plus 4x plus 14x, and 4x plus 14x is certainly 18x, plus 56. Then what they do is they factor by grouping. Let's do that. So what's the first two terms? What it factors out from that is x. And what do you get? x plus 4. Well, from the next two terms, what it factors out is actually 14. And you get x plus 4. And what factors out from that? x plus 4 and x plus 14. And that's how they got that answer over here. All right? Now, granted, I consider that to be a lot of work. So what I want to do is I want to erase. And by, I'm not saying it's bad work. I just think it's a lot of work. I think if the numbers are small, though, that trial and error works much more quickly, all right? But again, a lot of students look at trial and say, no, it's too difficult. I want that AC rule, and they see it as being methodical. But over here, it's got to be x and x. Why do I say that? x times x is x squared. If I'm using my finger numbers, there's no other choice. And for 56, again, if you thought about it, you know, what two numbers multiply together, you get 56, but I got to get that initial sub 18, it's still going to be 14 and 4. And what would I do now? I'd check it. How do you check it? You get x squared plus 4x plus 14x. And 4 times 14 is 56. Does it work? Of course it does. All right? Again, whether you're using what Wells suggests you to do or you're using trial and error, it doesn't matter. That factorization that we got is the only factorization for this problem.